Hello, everyone. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Phygenics. Today, we're going to talk about how Legionella bacteria thrive and survive in building water systems. And I'm going to take you through some of the microbiology and a little bit of the molecular biology. Some graphics here that might look a little bit complex, but if you're interested, there's a lot of um, scientific information in this subject that's really very interesting and very accessible too. All of this information is free on the internet, so to speak. It's not hard to get all of this information about how Legionella thrive and survive in building water systems. So Legionella bacteria look pretty much like any other bacteria in water. Here's a, just a photograph of what they look like in a microscope. But they have a unique life cycle which is parasitic to the protozoan community found in aquatic environments. In a previous segment, I showed you some of the details about that life cycle. They are gram-negative bacteria, they are obligate parasites, and they're always associated with protozoan hosts and with biofilms. But let's take a look at the science a little bit more closely. Here's an electron micrograph of what the bacteria look like, and you can see some of the flagella, strand-like structures you see around the cells themselves. And here's a little schematic that highlights some of the key molecular biology aspects of Legionella. Now, of course, we won't go through the details, but if you just look at the different colors, see that red words on the far upper left part of the figure. This refers to the very unique infectivity factors that allow the bacterium to infect the host cells, the amoeba or the white blood cells in our lungs. Look down to the bottom left, multiple systems for iron uptake. Legionella have a requirement for lots of iron. And that's interesting. In building water systems where there's a lot of corrosion, a lot of soluble iron and other metals, uh, we find more diverse microbial communities that will include Legionella. Look up at the top, growth and cytotoxicity factors. These are all the protein systems for secretion into the environment. Very unique, very highly studied. See the blue text, host attachment and entry factors. These are the genetic elements that provide the means for Legionella to infect their host cells, like amoeba and white blood cells. Now really, what's the point of looking at this? Here it is. We know a lot about how Legionella progresses in its life cycle. There's really, I'm not saying we know everything, of course, we'll always learn more things, but there's really no mystery about how Legionella proliferates, how to analyze Legionella, and how to control it. This is a cross-section of Legionella growing inside its host cell, the amoeba. So you're looking at a cross-section of amoeba. The big circle in the middle is the nucleus of the amoeba. And you see that white arrow points to Legionella growing inside the amoeba. And unlike other bacteria that are consumed by the amoeba for food, Legionella proliferates inside the amoeba and takes over its cell. In fact, you can see that progression in this series of slides. Upper left, the Legionella has been growing inside the host amoeba for only about 24 hours. Upper right, the Legionella have been growing inside the amoeba for uh, about 72 hours. And you see how the amoeba cell is starting to break open. That's called lysis. The amoeba cell membrane loses its integrity and finally lysis, releasing all the Legionella that have grown inside the host cell into the environment. And this bottom picture is a cross-section showing viable Legionella growing inside the protozoan host cell. Join me next time to learn more about lysis and the spread of Legionella in water systems.